A group of elementary school students are getting national recognition for their robot. Uh, it's earned them a trip to Legoland to compete in a national tournament. And uh, Courtney Griffin is live this morning with the robotics team at Yavapai Elementary School. Good morning, Courtney. Good morning and check this out. It's actually a robot made out of Legos. It is so neat. And so what it's doing, the theme here is to go around and pick up trash essentially and uh, they get points for everything that they knock over. That's 50% of it. The other 50% is a uh, presentation that they have to give. A pretty cool uh, idea. We're going to get to that in just a little bit. But first I want to talk to the mentor, Mrs. King. You have how many students going to Legoland this weekend to compete? We have 10 students going this weekend. And there is going to be a lot of teams there from all over the world, really. All over the world, South Korea, Germany, um, all over the United States and Canada as well. So how hard do they have to work all year long to get the opportunity to go this weekend? These kids gave up their mornings before school and uh, after school and came up with the ideas and the presentation and worked on the, the programming of the robot. Um, put in hours and hours of time. You guys are ready. We are ready. Yeah, okay, so second, third, fourth, and fifth graders are all going. Ten of them, and Kara, what grade are you in? Fifth. Fifth, okay, so tell me about your presentation. You're going to be giving it, right? Yes, we are going to be giving it, and the presentation is our idea. We thought if you put plastic bags in the lids, it would help conserve the, the garbage places because Very. plastic bags always get stuck in the in machinery. That is such a good idea. How'd you guys come up with that? We had a few ideas before and then we realized we just, it was from Canada actually, we realized that Canada has a same idea but they put batteries in the lids. So we thought we could put plastic bags in the lids. Ah, very cool. Can you show us one more time how it works? So it will dump out the trash. And then it will dump out the trash and then this will suck the vacuum, the vacuum will suck up the plastic bags. Well, that is a great idea. I think you guys might win with that. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to go talk to Marcos and Miguel. They're kind of the ones controlling this. So what's interesting, though, about this robot is you guys actually don't have a remote control. It's just on the robot. Just programming. So how was it making this? Was it kind of difficult? No, not at all. It was, um, you go not at all. <laughs> so yeah, look, so this is an EV3. Uh -huh. All you need a, you're on a computer and you're adding different blocks, different numbers. So, let's say one it will go this far. Okay. So can you show us how it works? It's called Bad Boy, right? Why is that? Well, sometimes it just doesn't listen to us. Oh, we'll make it listen to you now. Let's see it. Okay. And we're starting it. How long does it take? to go around everything? About two minutes and 30 seconds. Two All emissions, yeah. Okay. And if something does go wrong, if it is a bad boy, what do you guys do? We just pick it up and we'll start over. Okay. Well, good luck to you guys this weekend. Again, it's uh, students from Yavapai Elementary School going to Legoland to compete against a whole bunch of teams from all over the country and out of the world. We wish them luck. They're going to do great. Guys, you heard them. They are very, very smart. All right. They get a round of applause. They sure are, and they're so young. Yes. Kids about a great just like future. stuff like that, I don't know. they? I know.